Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I am going to do a dirty pour on it. Uh, this is a challenge from Tish at Artist Haven. She does a weekly challenge and I'm up for this challenge. And what she does is she gives us the color palette and then we go ahead and we try and make, <clears throat> uh, create something with that color palette. So let's go over my paints. Um, I don't have exact brand names for any of these paints because I did mix quite a few to get these colors. I tried to get it as exact to the palette as I could. My base coat, I did use, um, let's see. I did use the Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light for my, for my uh, base coat. And there's consistency, if you can see that. I, it's a little bit on the thinner side here today because I do want the, the paints to uh, run together and mix up pretty good. The rest of my paints, according to the color palette Tish chose, are a nice bright yellow, nice bright orange. And this is like a creamy, light brown color, a beigey color. And then this I would call a, um, a grayish blue. And I ended up adding a little bit of the Payne's Gray to that. And again, let's just show you consistency here. And the last color is just a nice bright red. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down. I'm going to fill one cup today. Like I said, it's going to be a dirty pour. And then I'll bring you back. Um, my pouring medium today is all, all the mix. Seven part mix to one part paint. Thin with water and that's it. Nothing else. So I'll be bit right back and we'll get started painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down. I have my cup filled and it's quite a full cup. This is an eight ounce cup and I have it filled almost to the top here. So I think I have more than eight ounces. And what I'm going to do is just a dirty straight pour and uh, let's just see what kind of effects we get here. Kind of excited because I am using the mix. I am really liking that red. Going to try and get all that I can out of this cup. Okay. And I have some yellow left, and the only thing I'm not I'm not liking what I'm seeing there is. Is that so I'm going to add some yellow here and probably most of that is going to be tipped off anyway but I'm just gonna add it there let's give it a torch And why don't I just use the rest of my yellow to uh, help the paint move here. If I have negative space today, that's fine too. Okay, so let's just do some tipping. See what we get. I'm going to tip most of that off there. Like I said, I'm just loving that red in there. And that grayish blue is, is really nice too. And 
and take my time here and tip, see what I get. Might need to leave that corner with some negative space there. Going to just tip this straight down here. Get get rid of that color. I don't like it. Okay. And I'll go over this corner here with the red. And bring that back. And I'm going to take a look at it now. Check my corners here. Hopefully you're seeing most of this in screen. A little bit of lacing going on in the middle. A few cells did pop up. I do have a little bit of red left also. So what I'm going to do is just going to run some red along the edge here. And along this edge here. Okay. And this corner. Okay, I'm going to tip a little into this corner here. Bring that back. Okay. And I'm going to tip down to this corner here very carefully. I do want to leave some of that that grayish blue there. Okay, and I will bring that back. Okay. Take another look at it here, what I have going on. Very unique veining. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I am going to tip down in this corner again. I do want to leave the orange on there. And possibly some red if I can. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back. Because I found the more that you stretch out your paints with the mix, the, the nicer effect you get. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it now. Wow, by doing that, these <laughs> these have these cells have gotten huge. They look like racks. But I really do not care for this corner. So, 
what I think I'll do is just see if I can do something about that with the paints that I have remaining. And get some kind of effect with that. Give it another tip here very carefully. And bring it back. I do not want to lose those big rock looking cells there. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it here. See what I do and I don't like. This corner is better. It's happier with that. Let's give it another torch and see what we get with this. my hands off here a minute. Well, I just really love this and this in here. Just really, really pretty and, and the effects of that uh, grayish blue with the yellow and the orange. The red, when I use red, it does not take over, but this red is very dominant in this painting, which I do love red. Very striking. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. This really, really adds to the painting right in here. I have that bluish color in between these rocks and down here it almost looks like sky. What an interesting painting. I think I'm just gonna tip a little bit this way here. Seems to be still quite a bit of paint on this painting. Okay, now I'm going to stretch that down. And just by doing that, you can see how I've, how I've opened up this corner here in that purple. is just really, really pretty there. And I am loving this. I think one more torch. 
and I will get you down for a close-up. And I think I will clean the bottom off here. Can't really get to that right now, but... I will eventually. And let's give it another torch. You can see some muted cells trying to come up through this red also. And that's another really great thing about the mix is the transparency. Just beautiful. Again, this is a challenge from Tish from the Artist Haven, and I will be posting this video and picture. Visit Tish's channel, and I will link that in the description. She goes live five days a week, and you should visit her channel. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And here is the upper left-hand corner. And as you can remember, I said as I stretched out that corner you can see all the different layers trying to come through here the transparency with using the mix beautiful just going down the left hand side here this is the lower left hand corner here's some of those uh, big cells I was telling you that are trying to come up Some littler cells in there. Some cute little cells there. And this is coming through as white, but it's actually yellow. So you can see down here, it's more of a light yellow. And this is the, I'll take you over to the lower right-hand corner. And here's where I said it almost looks like sky here, just in that corner. And this is what I really think adds to this painting is, is these rocks with that blue in between, the yellow and the orange. It's really, really a neat effect. And here's the upper that's that little corner I worked on. That's the upper right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would surely help my channel out, help me grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.